Pressure is building on Governor Martinez to sign a bill that would ban corporal punishment in public schools. Stuart Dyson has the story from Coronado Elementary in downtown Albuquerque. Kids at this school don't get paddled. That's because Albuquerque Public Schools banned corporal punishment years ago, along with most other school districts around the state. Still, about one-third of them allow it. UNM rally, noontime today, urging the governor to sign the bill into law, making physical punishment illegal in every school district. The legislature passed the bill narrowly after a heated debate. Where else except in a public school in the state of New Mexico right now, can you actually inflict some sort of damage to a child hoping to change some sort of behavior? I think that's archaic and that needs to stop, period. Opponents argue that teachers need the threat of physical punishment to maintain discipline, that it ought to be up to local school districts. But supporters of the ban say some kids get punished more than others. Those kids who are most at risk, kids with autism, kids with mental illness, kids with other challenging behaviors, they're the ones who end up getting paddled more often, much more often than uh, other typical kids. Governor Martinez has been undecided on the bill. Her staff saying she's getting plenty of feedback, pro and con. The governor has until Friday to either sign the bill or veto it. At Dolores Gonzalez Elementary, Stuart Dyson, KOB Eyewitness News 4.